So now I'm going to show you how to use cement. Cement stands for Computer Enhanced Multiple Exposure Numerical Technique. And so what it does is it, it combines images together and you, we use this for augmented reality overlays, mediated reality, various other kinds of things. And so uh, just as a couple of examples, it, you, you can download it from wherecam.org and you know you can see lots of examples of it. Uh, here's, these are all, these are all cements here, different uh, multiple exposure images. This is typical augmented reality overlay. These are all done with cement running interactively, sometimes in real time, uh, sometimes offline. Uh, these are all simple augmented reality overlays that were done using the, the uh, computer enhanced multiple exposure numerical technique. Uh, the, the place that you get it is wherecam.org, cement.tgz, and we can save the file. We'll just save it, and there it is. <coughs> and now, let's first remove it, because uh, if I go which cement I, it's in there, so CD user local bin. Um, I've already got it installed there, so now I'm going to going to remove it, cement I. Probably have to sudo that. And rm cement O, cement init, PLM, trowel. Trowel is a tool to apply cement. So there, it's gone. So now, um, if I go to Downloads, there it is. And let's expand that out. Um, I probably have, make sure I don't have already, it's not there, so. There it is, so I've, I've expanded it. Now, if I go into Cement, the first thing to do is to uh, look at the overall directories. I'm going to notice that there's a couple of things that it uses. So CD JPEG 6B, make that. It uses a libjpeg. I didn't write that, by the way. That's just uh, common stuff. By the way, I wrote Cement, you know, like 40 or so years ago in Fortran and about 30 years ago or so we converted that to C and so it's kind of old code that I'm not too proud of, but it works and it's simple and maybe some of you guys want to help rewrite it. Um, but anyway, uh, just as it is right now, it's very simple C code. So now, let's see what else there is. Zlib, make that. Okay, now that we've made that, let's make cement here. Now we have created cement I. So now let's go to sudo um, copy sudo. See, we'll move it into into user local bin or wherever you like to keep these things. Cement O and cement init and PLM to PNM there. And then also we want to copy trowel. Trowel stands for to And 
that's what trowel is. And we're going to copy copy that to user local bin. Now, <coughs> so we have that in there. Now let's look at some JPEG images that come with cement. Um, <coughs> just going to unzip. GNU unzip these files. Actually, it's already there. So I've got these files here, one, two, three. I've got these files here. And what I want to do is cement them together. So One image, another image, and another image, and another image. So there's various images here. Now, if I take this, <coughs> this image is just an image taken during with the sunlight shining on the building. And this image is taken with the light turned on inside the building when it's otherwise dark. So in this image, there's only one light source present, which is the light in the stairwell. In this image, there's only one light source present, which is the natural sunlight. So I have 80 and 35. So let's ls sv question mark question mark jpeg into cement.txt and then a vi cement.txt file. So let's say we want to have 30, 111, 35, and 80, <coughs> 111. These are RGB values. Now if we go trowel, so first we've got to make the lookup table. Actually I might have I might need to copy that. Let's copy that also. Just move it. And then make lookup table. That just generates the lookup table. We'll generate POW lookup 22. And so this is a lookup table with a power of 2.2. And you can change this to get the lookup table. Or you can even put your own arbitrary lookup table in there. That's the lookup table that turns pictures the LUT, um, so this thing here turns pictures into lectures, light space. That's what you're going to do. So now the lookup table, so we're, we've got the lookup table generated. Now let's run trowel. And then it generates that. Trowel out. And what you notice here is that you see this image here that looks like <coughs> uh, both the lights are on. So you can see it looks like the, the light in the stairwell is on here. And it also looks like the sunlight is shining at the same time. So this looks like it, you can see the picture shows both those sources of light. And in fact, if I go to that cement file here, and I put them all on, one, 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 and look at that. Now you can see all these lights are on together at the same time, in effect. And of course, you can change. You can be creative and fun here. Like if I take 35 here, and then turn off the blue channel. Now it looks like there's a yellow light inside there because we only have the red and the green inside there. And so you can play around a little bit. <coughs> Let's take 80 and take number 80 and make it only 0, 0, make that only blue. So now you get the blue sky here, the, the sort of dark blue sky. And if you want to boost it a little bit, uh, we could change that to 9 or something, a bigger number. 
and now you got the blue sky and the yellow light in the stairwell and so on. So you can kind of see that we can combine images together in a nice way using cement. A uh, very, very simple, easy to use way of overlaying things, overlaying augmented reality content and that sort of thing. So now let's suppose we want to wearecam.org ECE516 Lab03 and let's say we want to take this <coughs> and we want to save image as. So I'm going to save this image out. Uh, I'm going to save this image out here. I'm going to save image as here. I'm going to save that one. And then I'm going to save this nice Nixie image. And save that one. And now I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to now move downloads I'm going to take this um, Where did it go? That's some pictures. So I'm going to move these three things. One, two, three. These three images, I'm just going to move them into downloads, cement, or anywhere really. It doesn't matter where they are actually. You can put them wherever you want. Like I can just make dir tilde slash delete me. And I can put them anywhere I want. Move these images. They don't have to be in the cement directory. Into delete me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, remember to make the lookup table, and then ls star is into cement. And now we're going to get rid of that, of course. Go here and you can just put one, one, one. You can put a comment in here if you want. So this is my eyeglass feed, still from my eyeglass. And or that's an ECG. This is <coughs> this is the CRO cathode ray oscillograph, and then one 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 is my eyeglass feed. So run swim, and this is Nixie's one one one. Put a comment in here if you like, and then. There's uh, everything combined together. So there's an overlay. Those three images are all been cemented together. Now we might want to play around a little bit with this. That this is a oscilloscope green trace should probably look a little bit greener. So I put make this zero. I'll punch that up to nine or something. One one nine one. Let's say make the Nixies a little bit more in the red, a little stronger in the red. Maybe nine uh, five in the in the green and. Maybe four, say five, four or five in the green, and then one. Let's try that now. That looks pretty good. Maybe I, I slightly overdid it in the yellow there. Maybe back off on that just a bit. Um, That's pretty good. That looks pretty good. That, that doesn't look bad. That's a nice overlay of the oscilloscope trace there <coughs> with the with the waveform. Maybe the oscilloscope trace is a little overdone. We could back that off a little bit. Uh, probably maybe about 3-1 or something like that. Just so it's kind of bright but not too bright. And so that's a pretty good overlay. That looks nice. It's pleasing to the eye. It's a nice overlay and it looks pretty natural. 
So experiment with different exposures, different exponents, different overlays, and so on. Have fun using cement and overlay the information to the augmented reality. And once you know how to do that, then we can try and plot the data in GNU plot. So you can try and overlay other data as a scrolling screen, for example, where it's rolling past.